Hello friends, this is Scott, and this is a flashback to May 16th when we did the last update on the Egyptian walking onions. And this was the phase of where they were at in the middle of May. A lot of green, a lot of straight growth. They're just forming their little bulblets on the, on the ends of the leaves. And it was kind of a fun, fun, good looking patch of, of Egyptian walking onions at this time of the year. Flash forward to July 10th, and this is what they look like now. Huh, not so impressive, but that's the life cycle of an onion. They grow, they do their thing, and then you know they're ready to pick when they start falling over. Now these are why they call them Egyptian walking onions. They walk by having the bulblets on the ends that get heavy, and as the top growth dies off, they just fall to the ground. As you see here, they're trying to plant into my planter, it looks like, but uh, they are getting close to getting ready to pick. And then what I can do is I'll just uh, snip them off and I'll consume some and I'll save some and I'll take some to the uh, new hobby farm. And I've got some available if anybody needs any Egyptian walking onions. So I know I've had comments in the past of people that would like me to send them some and I have some. So, so remind me who you are and uh, send you know private message me or whatever your, your address and I'll get you some of these to, to try out if you don't have them in your area. Well, they're not a big impressive bulb onion, but they're kind of a cool thing to have in your in your garden. Again, I first uh, saw these at uh, Red Butte Gardens in Salt Lake City and from there we're here. So uh, I'm pretty happy with my little patch. Now they do interesting things. You know, it looks like that one was choking the other one, <laughs> but nice bulblets. Some are have more in the clusters than others, but I've got quite a few, so I'm happy with this year's. I've seen bigger, but uh, they're they're doing good, and they're ready to to go down south and to, and to establish down in my new hobby farm. So I'm excited about that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll leave you with a little chicken TV, a little bonus. Uh, chickens love cabbages, broccoli, cauliflower, and this is, happens to be a cauliflower. So it's the time of the year that we start pulling that out and. As you can see, they're all interested in this. This is my entire flock right now. I only have eight chickens. I've lost a few over the last uh, six months or so, but but they love they love the, these tender greens. That's their favorite thing. Well, thanks for watching and subscribing if you like what you see, and look forward to the next video, which will probably be about the uh, umbrella tree. I need to prune that again, but who knows? You know, the day takes me to different places, and and I'm. Uh, We'll see what, what the next adventure, the next project is. Thanks for watching.